Hello and welcome. This is Moose2006. And today we are going to be looking at cows. Uh, cows are definitely the most involved aspect of this game, at least animal wise. Um, so we'll be looking at how to feed them, what to feed them, and then what you can use the, their products for. Uh, they produce manure, and we'll look at what you can use that for. So if we go into the statistics, and go over to cows. You'll notice that I'm at 80% productivity and they're producing both liquid and solid manure. I have fed them silage, grass, and straw and I have not fed them the mixed ration yet. So most of the, these things are going to be included in other tutorials that I'll link in the description. Today we're just going to see an overview of what these consist of and how to feed them. Uh, the first thing I'll say, the nice thing about cows is once you feed them, the milk is collected automatically and the milk is sold automatically. So all you have to do is worry about feeding them and then the milk takes care of itself and at the end of every day it'll get collected and you'll just receive the money. So then it's up to you if you want to use the manure they produce or not. So let's go ahead and begin feeding them. So early on in the game the first thing you'll want to do with cows is get a forage wagon. So this is like one of the smallest ones. This one's uh, kind of on the bigger one. So if you go to loading wagons, that's the one that has the straw in it right now. And I have this one with grass. Then there's one a bit bigger. But, you know, at the beginning of the game, get this guy right here. And you can feed them straw and grass, which is a really nice way to start with cows. So I have straw in here. All you have to do is drive it in. And in the bottom right, the little uh, unloading symbol will, will come up, hit Q, and that'll fill it with straw. If you want them to produce solid manure, like for greenhouses, you have to feed them straw. If you just feed them grass silage and mixed feed, then they'll only ever produce the liquid manure. So I'm going to drop that there. So there's the straw. And now if you go into stats, I won't do this every time, but if you go into stats, all of a sudden then there's uh, the straw is full. Now, once you have the straw in, if you only feed them straw, that's going to get their productivity up to 10%. So even with just that, they'll at least start producing a little milk. But then if you go ahead and use, you can use the same forage wagon or the same loading wagon to pick up grass. Again, go in here and hit Q. And it doesn't matter, all the troughs are the same, either whether it's on the right, the left, or the, the one out there. It doesn't matter where you put the feed in, as long as you put it somewhere. So again, if you have a loading wagon, you can feed them straw and grass with the same wagon. That'll get their productivity up to 44%, which is pretty substantial and pretty easy to do. Just mow, load it in your wagon, um, cut some wheat or barley, load it in your wagon. There you go, 44%. And then if you ferment some of that grass into silage, that'll get their productivity to 80. So that's what I'm at now. I have the grass and straw, which is really, really easy to do. Ferment some of the grass, get some silage, and then all of a sudden 80%, which is quite a bit and very profitable. So to get silage in their trough, you can do it one of two ways. You can go ahead and just use the front loader here. Scoop it up, I won't do the whole thing. Uh, just for time's sake and then I can drive it in and again it doesn't matter what trough you go to just I'm not sure how picky it is um, but just dump it in and there you go now they have silage the way I like to do it however since I don't like picking up um, silage all the time with this I kind of like to leave all my food around here for easy access I like to use a tipper and that's the one that I started with. And then you can just use the loading wagon and dump the silage in this. And then you'll always have it ready to go. Just hook it up. Again, drive it in. Doesn't really matter where you unload it. Push Q and it'll empty out up to six days worth of feed, just like the sheep. Um, they'll only ever, they'll max out at six days. So looks like I can fit more silage in there if I wanted to. 
So there is 80% productivity. Straw, grass, silage. To get the last 20%, you have to use the mixed ration, which again is in a separate tutorial. Uh, this is pretty involved with the hay bales, straw bales, and silage. But here, if you look in the top left, I have all blue bars there, which means this is good to go. So I can put it in one of these troughs. I'll actually go out here just to show you this one. Um, same thing, I go up next to it, hit Q, and there we go. That's the mixed ration. So now, my cows have everything they need for 100% productivity. Again, the um, it won't reflect it for a while if I speed up the time. It'll it, it takes a a little bit. I might be ready. And um, I don't know why it doesn't reflect it right away. And there we go. So now they have the mixed trash in. Everything's there. 100% productivity. Again, the milk will get collected automatically. You don't have to do anything with it. So that's how you feed your cows and get them to higher productivity. So once they have, uh, once they've been around a while, they'll produce manure, both liquid and solid. Again, if you want solid, you have to feed them the straw like that. Otherwise, they just produce liquid. Liquid. If you come out here, this little place right here, that's your uh, slurry tank. That's where the liquid manure is. Uh, and it'll say fill level 93,000 right there. And then my solid manure is over here, 28,000. This is used for the greenhouses, which you can see in my greenhouse tutorial. Or you can use either of these to fertilize your fields. If you don't want to spend money on fertilizer anymore, you can actually use the manure to come down, pick it up, and then go fertilize your fields with it. So if you want to use the liquid manure, you will need to buy a slurry tank, uh, one of these. This one will cultivate it and slurry for you. And these are just to sort of hold them so you can keep them at your farm. So I bought this one. I will go ahead and connect it to my tractor. And then if I drive it over to this little pump, I will get the refill slurry tanker, push R, and it's going to fill up. I won't fill it up all the way. It holds quite a bit. And then if I was working on my field, I'd push B, and it comes out the back just like that. Really disgusting, I think, but, you know, it's free. You don't have to spend money on fertilizer anymore if you want to use that. And that's the only thing liquid manure is for. Uh, otherwise, it just sits there and collects and never does anything. The You can also do the same with the solid manure. Instead of using it for greenhouses, you can also use it to fertilize your fields. So you'll buy a manure spreader. Um, I have the biggest one right here. And you will use your front loader with the shovel right there. And just like the greenhouse, you'll pick it up and then put it in the top right there. I won't show that process because um, it's, it's sort of time consuming. But again, just shovel it in there like you would silage or you know the greenhouse manure. Hook it up. Um, I'm probably at the wrong side of the same. Yep. So let me go around to the correct side. And it's the same thing. Once you have some solid manure in there, then you can turn it on and fertilize your fields just like that. So that's how you feed them. Uh, grass and straw, you can access really early on in the game. Get them up to 44% pretty easily. Add silage, almost double that, and then take your time with the uh, mixed ration because it only adds another 20%, not a huge deal. Um, and then once they are fed, the milk is all taken care of. You never touch it, never do anything with the milk. You'll just profit every day. You'll get a big chunk of change. And then if you, and then once they produce the liquid and solid manure, you can use that either to fertilize your fields with a slurry tank or manure spreader or shovel up the manure for your greenhouses. And again, I'll try to link to a lot of these tutorials in the description. So I hope that clarifies any questions there are about cows. Again, they're very involved, but they're a lot of fun, and you will make a lot of money off of them uh, once you get their productivity up a bit. So if there's any questions, please leave a comment so I can clarify. Otherwise, a like would is always appreciated, as well as a subscription. Have a very nice day.